through some of the cases. This contains the beacon and part of the computer connections. These cases uh, belong to some of the team members. There's N6EK. That one's West Lamboli's. This one down here is Al Hernandez. These are our two landing cases. These are, contain the tools that we'll be using to erect the shelters. It contains stakes and hammers, drills, anchors, and a first aid kit. Here's some gear from N6MZ. This crate over here, which was used for the Easter Island expedition, contains our galley equipment. So here's some of the equipment we'll be using in the galley. There's some white buckets. There's some water containers down here. Umbrellas. There's some more water containers, those blue ones down there. Here's some AstroTurf that's going to be necessary to keep our feet clean. We'll have these in front of each, each tent. Some umbrellas and the sled. Over here are the antennas. We have a couple of extras that didn't get into the crate in time. 15 meter monobander and the R7 vertical for the beacon. This long crate here contains the masts. I think there are eight masts in this crate here. And then down here in this crate are the antennas themselves. There's about a dozen antennas in that crate, all sealed up with steel tape. These five cases contain the five alpha amplifiers that we'll be using for the radio stations. These cases down here contain miscellaneous things, part of the galley, emergency equipment, flares, signaling devices, and so on. Over here are the chairs. And here's some of the extra bedding we'll be taking. Down here's the lumber for the shelters. This is the outhouse. This box contains electrical and power equipment underneath this bedding. There are extension cords, equipment to run the generators, electrical hookup wire, and so on. These big uh, containers are uh, meant to be uh, areas where we can wash ourselves, wash our boots and so on, keep clean. Fill these with water. This crate contains um, some additional bedding. In addition, a couple of containers with miscellaneous things. Here's a fire extinguisher, some emergency gear. These are uh, oil absorbing pads that we can use to uh, sop up gasoline or oil. In this container, a lot of um, cleanup equipment. Paper towels, aluminum foil, soap, glad bags, and so on. These are the two small Coleman generators, 1.85 kilowatts each that we'll use for uh, landing to do the uh, erection of the shelters. Next to them are some additional containers that contain uh, small articles. Let's see what's in this one. Ah, these are empty, so these are spares. Here are the coffee mugs. We expect to distribute these. our toolboxes and over here this container this contains anchors for the shelters Let's see if I can get this open there they are this is uh, an army style of anchor it has a cable and a hook on it 
It's a sort of corrugated steel with a hammering top to it. Extremely strong anchor. We have 150 of those. Here's some nail-like anchors. Here are some lightweight tent anchors that have a tie point in them. And some plastic anchors which are surprisingly strong. This is meant to give us a variety of techniques for anchoring into whatever soil you'll encounter. Here's a, an ordinary 12 volt automobile battery that we'll use for emergency. Over here are the two brand new Honda 5 kilowatt generators all packed in their boxes. Up here, these large crates are the two additional shelters. One 12 by 24, one 12 by 12 feet. We actually erected one of these, the 12 by 24, while we were uh, doing our training session. <clears throat> this crate contains, let's see what's in here. Okay, this is, uh, this is the galley equipment. This contains tubing for the water supply, heater, fire extinguishers, waste baskets, fans, water purification gear, lights, the Coleman stoves, and all kinds of other goodies down in there. There's some spice. The last item is this nifty wagon. It has four wheels, we can steer it. it carries 2,000 pounds, this wagon. So here's everything. Yeah. Okay, uh, here's the container arriving. It's Uh, Carlos, what do you have in the uh, in the outhouse there? Well, this is a shitty house. 
No, I, I've never seen so many computers inside of this house, in the chili house, ever. I'm gonna show you. It's not that, uh... I, I want to use, I want to see it How come you have the computers in there? They don't shoot in this computer. <laughs> they were in the toilet. <laughs> I don't know, come here. <laughs> you put the batteries inside the flashlights? Sure. Okay, here's our computer store. There are all the computers and the copier. And this packing material above them.
It's all right, go ahead and close it. Número 73740. Ahí vos, ¿lo ves? Do you see that? Okay, what's the number? 73740. And now, one key for you, one key for me, and we're done. Okay, I've got a key, and you've got a key. <laughs> we have All right. Three. Very good, we're finished. <laughs> we're finished. Two containers.